Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics, and we are going to be covering the content on page number 52 of your workbook. So please go ahead and turn your workbook over there. If not, you're welcome just to watch with me on the board. We're going to be covering the content on week number five and day number four part of the curriculum. And today it's going to be about ratios and measures. So we've learned a little bit about ratio analysis. So we want to use our concept of ratio analysis right now to solve real life problems. So we've applied ratio analysis to solve distance related problems yesterday. Now today we're going to be using that same concept of ratio analysis to solve problems relating to weights and measures. All right. So let's use this example to understand what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so day number four is going to be ratios and measures. We're going to use and apply our uh, knowledge of ratio analysis to solve real-life problems. Okay, so ratios and measures. All right. So there's a problem over here which says a bag of potatoes weighs 15 pounds. Okay, so that's the total weight equals 15 pounds, LBS, okay. After cooking, the bag weighs 12 pounds. Okay, so you can say T2, this is T1, T2 equals 12 LBS. All right, what is the weight of cooked potatoes? All right. Well, so the bag was 15 pounds. After cooking, the bag still weighs 12 pounds. So how many pounds did we cook? Well, that's gonna be real easy. So that's gonna be T1 minus T2, which is 15 minus 12, which is gonna be equivalent to three pounds. Okay, so that's very logical. We had 15 pounds before we started cooking. After cooking, we have 12 pounds right now. How many pounds did we cook? 15 minus 12, three. <laughs> okay, so now what is the ratio of the amount cooked to the amount not cooked? So this is the amount cooked. This is the amount not cooked. So what is that ratio gonna be? Well, the ratio of the amount cooked to the amount not cooked is gonna be three to 12. Pretty easy, right? which is gonna be equivalent to three divided by 12 or one quarter. In other words, we cooked a quarter uh, for every one potato that we cooked, there are four that are uncooked. That's what it means over there. Now, what is the ratio of the amount cooked to the total weight of potatoes? Well, this is the amount cooked this is the original total weight, so the ratio is going to be 3 to 15, which is going to be equivalent to 3 divided by 15 or 1 divided by 5. What's this telling us? For every potato, one potato that we cook, there are still 5 in total, okay, 5 in total. So we cooked about 20% of the potatoes, all right? So that's what it's telling us, because 1 out of 5 is going to be equivalent to 20%. All right, now let's take a look at it. What is the ratio of the amount uncooked to the total weight of the potatoes? Well, this is the amount uncooked to the total. This is the total. So that's going to be 12 to 15, which is going to be equivalent to 12 divided by 15, and that is 4 because this is three here, four, and three here is five. So four divided by five. So, which is approximately equal to 80%. Okay, did you get something from it? I believe you did. So please go ahead and turn to page number 52 of your workbook. 
are going to see additional explanations over there that can make you understand appreciate what we're talking about all right so let's look at um your homework for today so they said five thousand gallons of water were distributed between two houses in a ratio of three to five how many gallons of water does each house get all right so let's take a look at it it's a pretty simple example over here that we can use to still master the concept of ratio analysis to volumetric measures so the total amount of water was 5,000 gallons, okay? So we have houses, houses, house number one, house number two, and the houses, they had uh, something divided for them in a ratio of three to five, okay? So what's that ratio total? The ratio total is going to be three plus five, which is equal to eight, okay? equal to eight okay so they're telling us that uh, three so how many gallons will house one get how many gallons will house two get as well well it's going to be three divided by eight multiplied by five thousand okay so that's going to be h1 and h2 will be five divided by eight, multiplied by 5,000. That's gonna be H2. All right, so let's try to do this one by right here. So this is two, four, divide this all this by two, you're gonna get uh, 2,500, I believe, 2,500. So you divide this by two again, you're gonna get one, two, okay, so 1,250. And divide this by two again, you're gonna get six to five. So, which is gonna be equivalent to 625 multiplied by three. All right, so let's try to do this quickly 625 multiplied by three. Okay, so that's 15, seven, and eight. So, 1,875 gallons. That's how many gallons of water house one is gonna get. All right, so let's do house two. So house two, since we know right now, this is gonna be eight here, one, 625, okay? 625 multiplied by five. So let's do that real quick. So that's six, two, five, multiplied by five. Five times five is 25, carry two over, five times two is 10, plus two, that's 12, carry one over, and that's going to be 31. So H2 will have 31, 25, okay? 3,125 gallons of water for house number two, and house number one is going to get 1,875 gallons of water. Now, if you were to add both together, just to make sure that our calculation is right, so let's, let's try to prove that right now. Five plus five is zero. Two plus, uh, you carry one over. One plus two, three. Three plus seven, that's 10. Carry one over. One plus one, that's gonna be two. Two plus eight, uh, that's gonna be another 10. And then carry one over, and this is 5,000. So we came back to 5,000 to show that our calculation is correct. So that's how you can use ratio analysis, the concept of ratio analysis to solve real life problems. So they got 5,000 gallons of water in the sea. We got two houses in the sea. And we know that house A compared to house B is gonna mean three to five in terms of ratios. How many gallons of water do we send over to house number one? How many gallons of water are we gonna to send to house number two? How do we do this? This is the way to do it. Real, real easy. All right. So thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we as well. Until next time, bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you